An NSC meeting can be called for a variety of reasons. Iraq invades Kuwait. That's a crisis. You call an NSC meeting to evaluate the situation. You call an NSC meeting when a study has been prepared that has controversial elements. You call it when the president wants one to discuss an issue. Any decision-making process has to fit the president and the way he likes to receive information, process it, and make decisions. And different presidents like to do it in different ways. President Nixon, for example, didn't much like meetings. He liked papers. He liked to read papers and study them and make decisions that way. President Ford, on the other hand, loved to hear his advisors debating the issues that helped him refine his own thinking and make decisions. So it needs to be tailored for the president because if the president doesn't find it useful, it's not going to be useful. We talk through the most difficult operational issues, what to do about the Iran nuclear program, what to do about the Syrian nuclear reactor. We could talk through those in a situation of complete candor. People could explain their views without concern that they would show up in the newspaper. What you want is, with great civility, real disagreements of views vetted in front of the president. A president then makes a decision and everybody is clear on what is the way forward. That's the system when it's working right. You know, for the NSC to function well, there has to be collaboration, there has to be uh, compromise, but at the same time, there has to be disagreement. And sometimes it can be, it can be rough. I mean, people have strong views. Defense always wants to protect as much as it can. State always wants to do diplomacy. The president needs to cut the budget. Congress is beating up on everybody. So you could have some very testy discussions. And those were fascinating. I, I love those meetings because strong views shouted back and forth across the table. And I got to say, this is what I'm going to recommend to the president.